rated as number 12 although you guys watch our previous video that we have fun it is really fun though but um other than that with kids if you have kids i don't know what else to do i mean you can go hike there's pools there's hot spring but we always like we have a favorite hot spring spot so yes that's why i read it as number 12. Number 11 is Idaho Spring, which is really nice because if you're from other state and you stay in Denver, it's only like an hour drive and also there's a lot of hiking trail. If you love hiking like I do, I like the, my favorite here is the St. Mary Glacier and I also like the Guanila Pass which is above um, Georgetown. So, the Idaho Spring and then Georgetown and then the other side is also the Central City if you like to gamble and lose your money so that's why I like it because there's a lot of closer town and if you like also water rocking you can do that in Idaho Spring that's our number 11 so much during winter they love um they enjoy tubing and it's not just them i enjoyed it too so and it's only one hour and 15 minutes from denver if you're visiting from other states so it's really good and during summer it's also great for camping for um, four wheeling and shooting so i love Frisco Colorado is our number did somebody, did somebody break your heart? Looking like an angel, but you're savage, love. When you kiss me, I know you don't get two fucks, but I still want that. Oh my god guys if you guys never been to grand lake colorado you need to visit this place because the grand lake the grand lake it's really nice um the water is like a big ocean since i miss the ocean so for me if i go there it's like oh it's so refreshing i i never been to alaska but i kind of like imagine that if i go there i feel like i'm in alaska i don't know why but when we went there we do camping there's also a lot of camping site around the lake so but if you like boating you can also do that i think they have like um rental boat that you can ride so it's really good so that's our number nine is grand bay colorado so we have number eight um canyon city colorado where you find the Royal Gorge Bridge and I rated this as number 8 because I think it's very unique you know like you know like imagine like you go walk on that bridge and then when you look down there's like a river there so if you're scared of heights that's where you go to because you know if you wanna like to conquer your fear go there visit there because it's really nice experience walking on that long bridge with um it's kind of like on a cliff with separate um i don't know kind of like separate islands but it's not it's just a cliff um some of my friends go there for water rafting camping a lot of hiking trail as well and then um during winter you can ride a train and i heard i never experienced that yet i'm gonna do that next time so that's our number eight canyon city colorado <laughs> And we're down to Lucky 7, which is Colorado Spring. Shout out sa mga kababayan ako diha sa Colorado Spring. I love this place. There's so much to do. Like, you know, last year, oh my God, I finally finished the incline. You know, at the Manito Spring incline, um, I, I finished to the top. I, I've done it even though I, I need me five, but you know, I've done it. That's all that matters. And also you can go to the Seven Falls and there's hiking there. I love the hike there. 
and you can chill at Broadmoor Hotel after that's what I do um, so much things to do in Colorado Springs you guys it's only like an hour and 15 minutes from Denver so that's my playground I always go there I probably go there soon too all right that's our number seven Colorado Springs I don't know why all the trees change in the fall about Curie, Colorado um, yeah I've been there it's like six hours we drove six hours from uh, Denver but I, I saw this from my friends one of my friends um, post in Facebook like she went there so I was I searched it and then yep I went there and it's really nice place and we stay at the waste bedding hot spring and before cave so there's like you there's like a hot spring in a inside the cave and um, it's kind of like romantic to me and my friend told me i have a friend that she told me that there's a lot of hiking trail as well but i never done that because we go there like this december so it's really nice it's really neat so that's curie colorado <music> So number five which is Buena Vista Colorado and I like this place if you guys like hot spring you guys can stay at the bison um, hot spring and there's also open doors hot spring there which is the cottonwood hot spring and I love this place it's just like every time I go there it's very peaceful you know like very relaxed very small town and I just feel safe it reminds me back home so that's why and it's only two hours from Denver so that's why I love Col uh, Buena Vista Colorado is our number five <laughs> down to number four which is Breckenridge Colorado so if you love skiing you love snowboarding this is the place you need to go it's really neat place. it's really nice I mean it's kind of pricey but you know if you know how to travel you know how to do your budget like you want to uh, book a hotel don't book in Breckenridge book outside the nearest town like there's um, one in Delon um, we used to go like the hotel in Delon and it's only like 125 125 a night and then but most of my friends like I had friends like um, visiting from other states they have timeshare at Big 8 and I think oh shout out Aurelia my dear she have um she have a timeshare at Peak Ed, you know, the Grand Hotel, you know, the place where I, I stand in the picture, this place. So you're really like in the resort, the ski resort. So it's really nice to, to get away for your weekend. I love it. Either winter or summer, I love this place. It's some choice to play date to you. as my 
number three I think because um, I'm hopeless romantic because you know just reminiscing oh my god I went there like New Year's and this is exactly what look like in the picture guys like the hot spring is by the river and then you know imagine you're you're soaking on a hot water and there's like snow on top of your head because it's winter and it's i don't know for me for you guys it's probably crazy but for me it's kind of like romantic so i love it it's adventure for sure and i love adventure so i want to go back there like summertime i don't know what else I can do it in summertime, but for sure, I love I love the hot spring. So that's my number three, Bakusa Spring, Colorado. picture guys look the picture um picture itself is just like in it's very inviting you know like you know imagine if you already there so it's just so beautiful so if you guys want to visit this place it's better like during um fall season like mid september um that's the perfect time to go there because the aspen trees that's when they change the colors and also guys um uh, there's not much by the way if you guys have kids it's not much to do so it's better just go with your friends or just couples like get away on the weekend or you know like a short vacation this place aspen colorado is the best place to visit it's nice to stroll in downtown in aspen and that's about guys it's our number two aspen colorado <music> Get your satisfaction And you know we out here every day with it I'ma show you how to get it It go right foot up, left foot slide Left foot up, right foot slide Basically I'm saying either way we bout to slide you Can't let this one slide Alright guys, we're down to our number one And you guys probably wondering why I rated this as number one um Glenwood, Colorado. Well, if you have kids, you know, this is probably the best place. Like my kids, my boys is go up basically kinda like go up here because this is the place I talk them every summer to the point now that they're teenagers, they're just like mom. We're tired going there because ever since when they're little I, I talk them there every um like especially fourth of July. So um because you know like they love swimming they love water and the gladewood hot spring that's they have a jumping like they can do body jumping in the water so they enjoy that so much and then we can also ride the gondola and go to the cavern adventures on top of the mountain and there's also a ride there i show you guys later on my um on my slide slideshow pictures so yeah there's so much to do and guys you know just you know i give you i give you like a secret like you probably think like oh my god how are you gonna like go there and probably it probably cost you a lot of money actually guys what i do because since i have kids and i i you i used to bring also my knees so what i do is i rent a hotel so we stay there like the whole weekend and what I do is I just bring um, like a collar and then I, I buy or I've already bring stuff like I already do grocery when I get there and then when you go to the park you do barbecue there that's when you can save money because the, act, the, the hotel actually is not if you book earlier it's not cost you a lot but the food is what cost you a lot because especially if you stay there like the whole weekend so it's really like a lot for food so what you do is you just go grocery like do barbecue at the park while while your kids is playing if you have kids so 
yeah it's really nice that's why i love to go there and there's so much to do in glenwood Springs. so i'm thinking to probably go back this year if i can drag my boys all right guys so that's all for our 13 places my boys kind of like um i don't know what happened but that's all guys i hope you guys enjoy and you know you guys one of these days you guys can also make video and show your experience all right guys bye i love you i hope that um uh watching my video is give you joy. i don't know why all the trees change in the fall watching my video and before I leave I want to read this quote it says in the end it's not the years in your life that count it's the life in your years and I think that's very important guys because you know you're if you buy stuff with your kids like like when they're five years old they probably don't remember that but when you know when you take them for like spend time with them um you know like my boys they still always they always remember when I talk them like all over places in Colorado and that's why I share with you guys so I hope that give you idea this weekend for 4th of July so um that's all guys I hope I share my joy with you guys and please don't forget to like my video and subscribe and if you like to share please do and that's all guys have a great the rest of the week thank you bye